Here we're going to make some mobile measurements with the LI7810. We'll need a USB GPS puck, a Raspberry Pi here with a portable power supply, that's to bring the data from the instrument and the GPS, and then also just a mobile phone to visualize the data. So installation of the sample line, very simple. Just connect that with some cable ties to the roof bar. You can see here I've got uh, an inlet filter fitted just to protect the inlet from any dust and debris that might enter the sample tube. Then simply connect the GPS and LI7810 to the Raspberry Pi, and that's running a basic Python script to bring data from both units into a single file. Connect the sample line, and then it's ready to go. We get in the vehicle, and then just install the uh, tablet phone, which is connected to the instrument. If you've got a passenger with you in the vehicle, they can look at the data in real time and locate leaks and emissions. The instrument runs at one hertz uh, with a response time of two seconds. So you can drive at uh, highway speed, 30, 40 miles per hour here, and get good spatial resolution of any emissions that may be around. So taking a drive through the local countryside and see what we can see. So on return to the, uh, to the lab or to the office, we can simply uh, download the data here. I've got the latitude, longitude, and methane concentration data from those two instruments. And I've simply subtracted the minimum measured methane value, uh, assuming that to be background, just to simplify the data once you visualize that in Google Earth. So we copy that data. And then we can import this into GE Graph. Paste the data in there. You can see our latitude, longitude, and methane concentration values. And then just a few uh, variables to set up to uh, enhance the visualization once that's imported into Google Earth. And that's it. Push run. Save that file, and then Google Earth opens automatically, and we'll see our data. And there we are, you can see already immediately see some very nice methane hotspots that we've picked up on our drive. So I've started the drive here, my uh, local village, and you can see quite a um, reasonable enhancement close to the village, um, most likely associated with uh, farming activities in the local area. And then as we drive out of the village, uh, there are some heavy works going on associated with the uh, high-speed rail link that's, that's going in um, south to north. And here we've picked up a signal, uh, 7 ppm, uh, above background level, very close to this, this area of works. And then taking a, a bit more of a drive, not much to see until we get close to this sandy looking area. This is a local landfill site, active landfill. And you can see here, as we've driven past, we've picked up this nice Gaussian shaped uh, plume uh, with a maximum of up to 5 ppm. And this site is, is typically active for methane emissions. Some smaller spikes as we head past uh, other agricultural sites. And there we go. So the LI7810, um, coupled with the GPS uh, Raspberry Pi, makes it uh, very simple to get out and measure uh, local emissions.